What's up, everybody? Haven't had very much luck doing Ultimate Team this year. First game, as everyone knows, my game locked up, so I get a loss there. Second game, we go in overtime. I throw a very heartbreaking interception at the end. I lose a game there. Then I tried to play or record yesterday, but my internet went out during the game, so I lost the game there. So I'm 0-3 now, so whoopee. My god, they're, they're freaking... The way they have this online kind of sucks. I keep losing because of stuff I can't prevent. Besides that interception, of course. I, wow. Freaking garbage. Freaking garbage! Alright. Fight somebody here. Yeah, the last game where I said my internet went out put me against a guy who was like 90 over. I was like, freaking piece of crap. Look at this. Why? Why do I have to have face these guys for? I only have a 72 overall team. What the, what's this guy have? Like a 78 or so? Must be nice to have Khalil Mack. Zach Ertz. Hmm. Well, I would have some good coverage if freaking Brent Grimes and D'Angelo Hall did some good stuff. Oh, man. Welcome in, everyone. To All right, here we go. Studios in Orlando. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. On deck, we've got a great matchup in store between the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. All the right, Patriots here we go. This new season, not just with playoff aspirations, but Dang we it. thought they could compete for a title if everything breaks right. But first, they've been handed a tough assignment here on the road right out of the game. Uh, there we go. Now let's go to Foxborough, Massachusetts, where Jim and Phil have the ball. All right. That's Ryan Tannehill. Oh boy. This guy's an audible guy. First down at the 26. They got him behind the line of scrimmage. Round 20 back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. It's Williams in the backfield. Hey, Second down and 13. Steve Smith Sr. with the catch. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Yeah. The Browns have it at the 34. Yes! Good job that time by the defense on third down. Find a way to get off the field. The defender found the way. Knocked that pass down. The Browns will go for it here on fourth down and a short yardage situation. The Browns will come out at the pistol. The Browns have it at the 30. Uh, yes. Haha. -ha. Stopped them. That's what we need. Bit of lag, of course. First down at the 34. taking the handoff. Ah, my God, the lag's messed me up. Slow down. Well, you can't knock them all down, and sometimes the running back has just got to break a tackle. Good job that time. It's now second down. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Here we go. Red 18. Ah, oh, dude, that's freaking. Ah, oh, they gotta fix these servers up. And with this starting unit, as usual, the attention goes to the wide receivers who so often open up the game. It'll be third down. 
Freeman's lined up now right, as the go. running back behind the quarterback. They'll go Brown. There we go. Barely made it. Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. In for the score. The lead is theirs now after that trip to the end zone. That gives them some momentum here at the start, Bill. Yeah, unless it halfway through the first quarter, you score that touchdown. Now you're leading in the game. Boy, that's a great place to be. And also, I know it's early, but you it puts the pressure on the opposition right away. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. All right, let's keep going. will mark it at the 22-yard line. The Browns take the field here. Their last possession ended with a very crazy decision going for it on fourth down from their own territory. Uh, an unusual decision, to say the least. I don't know if it's unusual. We see this all the time from this guy. So it's, it's, it's when you're going to learn. You know, I guess when you pile up enough balls, you can say, hey, I want to win a game. I'm going to manage it differently. And in those situations, you should play. Okay, if you were playing the game right now, what would you have done with that last possession? I absolutely would have punted it without question. Second and four following the run. Williams is in the backfield. Gets the handle here. Williams is tackled down at the 32. Is that first? Williams it was. Darn it. To have on your football team, isn't he? he goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Browns break cuddle and show a jumbo look. Oh, almost picked. Darn it. As we take a look at the offense, it'll be calling on a number of times today, running back D'Angelo Williams. Every NFL offense needs a running back like D'Angelo Williams, a guy that can run inside, outside, and make a guy miss. And also, every once in a while, he'll just run you over. Second and ten, and Williams is made of the football. This defensive front has been the talk of the ball. And Bill, we met with them in our production meetings this week. They know they'll have a chance to get to the quarterback today. This is third down. Ah! Brings it in. Dang it. That's his first reception today. Dagger, dagger. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Williams got it on the handoff. Williams tackled down at the 45. Williams is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Play number six coming All up right. on this drive. My God, this freaking game stopping like crazy. The Browns will take the snap from the 45. And now Tannehill's going to take off. And with no options, he goes ahead and throws it away. This is a good job by the quarterback this time. You know, the initial thought on the play, nobody's open, so he scrambles out of the pocket. Still sees nobody open down the field. And Makes a quick decision, doesn't take a hit, gets rid of the football. Ready, Why, 20. The Browns will take the snap from the 45. The Browns ah. get a first down. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. The Browns on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. Eight, ready, eight, 380. 380. Dagger, 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 dagger. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. The catch is made. We're about four. 
The Browns still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Blue tip. Blue tip. The second quarter is underway with this snap. He's hit as he throws it. All right. Lots of ways to attack tough as There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties. Make one on the move and still throw it deep down the field. Marching down the field and taking their time. Red. Browns will take the snap from the 40. Oh, come on. You get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. First down here after the completion. The give. Williams, left side. Dang it. This is where on a defensive side, where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, call something different so you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. Play number 12 coming up for the offense. First and goal from the nine. Yes! Haha, -ha, gotcha. With the lead and their defense making plays like that, this is shaping up to be a very positive second quarter. And they got it rolling, don't they, on both sides of the ball. And, you know, when you're in a situation <clears throat> like this, be aggressive. Go for the score as quick as you can on the offensive side. And it's Rice with the football. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. The Patriots approach the line and they're going with their jumbo package. Takes it out of the eye. And a gain of four. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time. And he only gets a short game. Third down now. Defense is crowded the line of scrimmage. They're trying to use the quarterback. Dang it. Now let's see what we got here. The Patriots believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. Ha ha! Well, I can't believe he actually caught off. That's garbage. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. First down and ten. Ah! He's taken down. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Zebra! Zebra! The Browns of course. Set at the line. I said that, of course. Now I said Rice, apparently. Cutler's back in shotgun formation. Catch is made by Rice. Mitchell's there to make the tackle. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left, well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slam patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. Aha! And I got him, too. Touchdowns 
Ah, uh, doing good. The Patriots for the extra point. He made it. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. McKelvin will field this one. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Browns' offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive. And see if you can score some points. Boom! D'Angelo Hall. Yes. performance by the defense in the first half. And adding to all the acclaim with the interception before halftime. Jim, we knew coming into the game today. Aww. Did the guy quit? The guy might have quit. <laughs> If I don't get the win here, I'm going to be really irritated. I better get the win. There we go. Finally, I won a game. My goodness. Of course, the guy just had to quit on me. All right. All right. It's all good. 